Pony, who sent us a very special video from San Clemente. And uh, his email says, and coincidentally, and really not coincidentally, we got two different emails from San Clemente this morning, both on the same topic, and both kind of saying the same thing. John and Ken, San Clemente is suffering with Todd Spitzer's spreading the love campaign and dropping off transients in our town. Check out this video taken by a local citizen. Please help us by getting some coverage for our plight. And uh, I looked at the video, <laughs> and it's a very colorful play-by-play -play by the person driving around in the car. Yeah. And I don't know whether he's holding the phone or maybe he's the passenger in the car. And he's showing the transients as they drive by, and the first one I think is urinating. And then they drive around a corner, and it looks like a second guy is urinating. Then he turns around. I can still remember. I think he's got like a Dodgers baseball cap on. And he's sort of finishing up the urination part, and then suddenly he goes into self-pleasuring mode. <laughs> and, yes, you do see the member. <laughs> I'm watching with producer Ray, who puts it on full screen. I'm like, God, no. I don't oh, need full screen. Ray, send it to me. I haven't seen it. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you could send it to him. And, uh, That's right. I guess we can't post that, huh? Uh, well, no, I thought we could post it with pixelation, but I was... Yeah. I Who's think in charge of pixelation? You know, I thought they Penis were going to post photos. We have a whole department for that. Well, we can play, because he's going to come on in Albert just to give you an idea. Let's play the audio of this video of the transient pleasuring himself in San Clemente. So this is a total sign of the times here. Homeless dude about... he's gonna He's urinating right now. Uh, right there. What is this? San Clemente? Jeez. He's yelling I at the guy. You know, sign of the times. And it sucks. You got these dudes <laughs> rolling around like just drunk off their rear end or whatever. <laughs> on historic monuments. <laughs> Dude, what? What? What are you doing? That is freaking ridiculous, bro. So he's going to stand there and <laughs> off now. And this is what we got to deal with here in San Clemente? I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm so pissed right now, I'm shaking. This is freaking ridiculous. It's not even noon. And then you got this guy. All you people, is there a time what are you going to do that? about this? Why aren't the, where are the damn police when you actually want them to arrest somebody for whipping his out in the middle of the day. <laughs> and sure enough, he faces the camera. And it looks like he kind of shook it a bit and kind of like, yeah, see? Because he knew he had an audience. <laughs> That's a winner, huh? That is great. <laughs> that That is the voice. And of, then another uh, listener named Gada, I guess, Gada, G-H-A-D-A. Said, uh, I listened to your show about the horrible attack on the woman in Rolling Hills. This problem with drugged out, mentally ill, homeless vagrants is out of control, not only in L.A. County, but also in O.C. I live in San Clemente, and since the dismantling of 10 City near Angel Stadium, South O.C. cities have seen a significant spike in crime. Without prior warning or notification of city officials, San Clemente received 70 to 100 of the riverbed population. Unscreened criminals, drug addicts, sex offenders... And she writes, courtesy of Todd Spitzer, Lisa Bartlett, and the other OC supervisors. Here are some pictures of the daily scene in North Beach in San Clemente, which is a busy area that includes our Metrolink station, historic old Hanson Community Pool, the historic Casino Event Center, a lot of historic things, as well as a very, a very busy beach trail. These vagrants feel emboldened and entitled. They yell at passersby and flip them off. They urinate, they pleasure themselves, they drink and shoot drugs in public. They are near our schools and harass our kids when they walk. This, this county and state are out of control. We recently had several fires started near residential areas by homeless people cooking out of their encampments. Please come down here. See what's going on. San Clemente's another Ventura. Rolling Hills, Santa Barbara County disaster waiting to happen. So there you go. San Clemente's beautiful, and it's on the south end of Orange County. And if, if this is accurate, that 70 to 100 of these just showed up. Were transferred? From the riverbed, that means that was a coordinated invasion. Yeah, I somebody transported them there. I so think, who did that? I well now Tony, who's coming on next hour, and that's back to the video, says they're having some sort of a safety task force meeting coming up tomorrow. And he writes, All of the city council members in San Clemente are failing us. 
Well, so now these two, I don't think they know each other. They both sent. Uh, all right, she sent hers last night. He sent his this morning. Well, it must have just happened. And maybe we were wondering where the people were going coming out of the hotel. The ones who don't want help, right? And maybe they were all herded on a bus and secretly shipped as far south as you can go. Because that, that after San Clemente, that's it. Yeah, for Orange County. Did you see Goddess pictures? One of our many mentally unstable visitors taking over the bench at a bus stop. It is a shirtless oh, guy. Old guy, too. He's an old guy. He's just peering around. And he's got that weathered beach you know, like yeah. tan, you want to call it, or yeah, he's, skin. Yeah, he's he, he's he's uh, deep tan. This guy's he's, often seen around town shirtless and talking to himself. Bald with like a white fringe around uh, his head. You know what's important about this? I looked at these pictures and I said, well, I spend some time in L.A. and I see these people all the time. Do you see how I've become... But in San Clemente, this is a shock, and this has to be stopped. Because the moment you start going, eh, well, you know, so you see a shirtless uh, no, homeless guy no, taking no. over a bus bench talking to himself, uh, welcome to L.A. Yeah, in the no. year 2018. Now, day one, and that's why these people are right in San Clemente to jump on this. As soon as they show up, you got to start screaming. Oh, absolutely. And, and who organized the middle-of-the-night run to San Clemente? Somebody must have done this on purpose. Somebody in government must know about this or in the police department, sheriff's department. It, it couldn't just happen overnight by accident. That's a long, long way away from the Santa Ana Riverbed. All right, coming up after 3 o'clock, Tony, who sent us the email with the video and audio we just played of the man pleasuring himself uh, to the disgust. I think that's Tony's voice on the, uh, on the uh, audio there, the audio of that video. We'll talk to him after 3 o'clock. John and Ken Show, KFI, Deborah Mark has news. And? John and Ken Show, John Cobell, Ken Shampoo. It's KFI AM 640. Yes, now coming up uh, after 3 o'clock, we'll be talking to Tony. Tony sent us a video driving around San Clemente. And uh, there's several listeners complaining that it looks on, they took on, some are claiming upwards of 100 of the riverbed population from the Santa Ana Riverbed in in Orange County in the area of Anaheim. Uh, anyway, that's what they're saying, and they're noticing an uptick in transients in the streets. And Tony took a video of one guy uh, uh, pleasuring himself and staring openly at the camera, as he did uh, at the phone as the guy took the video. Oh, good. Ray sent me the video. I'll watch that during uh, the next uh, commercial break. Sure you can, although you should look at it on the big screen. If you oh, want. I will. I will. I'll look it up. All right. Hmm. Let's... Uh, Let's go to Andrew Mullenbeck from KFI News, who's got the story uh, involving LAPD Chief Charlie Beck. Show John Cobelt and Ken Shampoo, KFI AM 640. All right, we're going to have Lister Tony on after uh, 3 o'clock. He sent us uh, a video. We played the audio of it earlier. We'll play it again because it's uh, a classic just watching stuff. the video. Well, what he did is he drove around San Clemente because it looks like the Santa Ana riverbed uh, vagrants, a lot of them has ended up in San Clemente. And he's driving around, and there's one guy peeing here. Goes around the corner, there's another guy peeing, and then he starts uh, pleasuring himself right in front of Tony. And Tony just lost it. And then so, the part that we kind of missed, because then, we were just playing the audio, but he continues to pan his camera on the phone onto these political campaign signs and said, what are all you people doing about this? Yeah, there's a when, when you hear him ranting like that, that's what he's showing is there's just campaign signs everywhere. Yeah, there's tons a, of them because we're close a post to the primary. With it looked like about ten of them. Yeah. All attached to this post, pointing in all directions. Well, they don't do anything. So we'll play the audio again coming up after three when we talk to uh Tony. And there's a couple of other things to mention concerning the homeless in the three o'clock hour. Uh all right, we got uh, a video sent to us by a listener. We're going to have him on in a moment. Uh, obviously, radio, we can play the audio for you. We played it an hour ago. It's, it's classic stuff, although the man involved is not happy with what he's seeing in San Clemente. 